Irish you a happy St. Patrick's Day. Thanks. St. Patrick's Day is coming! There are a lot of symbols and images that we can use to help us create St. Patrick's Day um, art. Today, I'll show you how to draw a shamrock so that you can get into the festive St. Patrick's Day spirit. Please find your wax crayons. Let's get artastic. So the shamrock always starts with kind of like three heart sort of shapes. And then I kind of bring them up a little bit closer, pull down to create the stem. Add a little bit of a line texture. And of course I use hatching and cartoons to shade. We want to do eyes, so I always start off with one um, oval with a second. And I add the pupils, just like sh like so. Um, we always want to make this expressive, so we can add some little eyebrows and little expressive lines around the eyes themselves. Um, He's a really stressed out shamrock, of course. I mean, he's gonna get picked because it's like, you know, St. Patrick's Day. Um, that being said, I'm gonna give him a really stressed out looking mouth. Um, for the background, I'm doing a simple burst today and I'm gonna be playing with um, wax crayons and paint for this. I always find that wax crayons are like super, super effective. All right, so I'm going to be using three wax crayons. Um, this one is green. We have yellow green and of course yellow. So we also need to include a white crayon for this art project. So take your um, white crayon. This is my white crayon. And color your eyes. Okay, next we are going to work on the highlights first down the center. And then around the face. Just adding a nice hint of yellow. Now that we're done that, we're going to go over our shamrock with the light yellow or yellow green. Next, we're going to use our dark green to um, add shading. Um, you're going to do two stripes in each of these um, sections with both the um, yellow green and the yellow and it's, then we're going to paint over it okay so here we go Last, we're going to take some green paint. I like to use water-based paints because, um, well, it's easy to use and the cleanup's easy. Um, you can use uh, watercolor paint, 
Uh, you could use paint pucks, temper paint, um, watered down. I don't like the thick temper paint, so water it down or acrylic paint severely watered down. And all you gotta do is paint over the entire thing. And um, as it dries, you can see that um, the water is moving away off of the crayon, just like that. So you are ready to let your art piece dry, um, and then it's ready for display. Once you're done your art piece, um, please find an awesome frame or a place to hang up your art piece, either in your classroom or in your home, to get yourself ready for the St. Patrick's Day festivities. I want to know what your favorite St. Patrick's Day art project is or how you celebrate St. Patrick's Day. Please leave your response down in the comment section below the video and you could be actually featured as my comment star um, in a future video where I post both your comment and your username. Like this video and click the little bell up at the top to receive notifications when new episodes arrive. As well, please subscribe to this Artastic channel. For more art tutorials, head on over to my blog at MsArtastic.com or check out some of my art teacher resources in my Teachers Pay Teachers store. For more behind the scenes art ideas and footage, please follow me on Instagram at MsArtastic. See you next time.